And even sometimes when these things happen, people, all manner of people, I mean, elderly will call me, oh no, we don't like this, we don't like to see this disagreement with speaker. Even the challenge we have as a country is that if you don't learn to keep to your principal position, in my view, then you are not worth what you are. I won't change my principle simply because my favorite is a speaker. Anytime a speaker, in my view, wants to abuse the standard orders, you can always count that. Was he an abuse of the standard orders? Yes, he was. He was simply abusing the standard orders. And I will challenge you to go and look at the, 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 the video and all the things that happened. Look, the reason parliaments are created, or parliament was created, was initially to challenge the king, to challenge the monarch. Yeah. That is why, if you go and check the literal meaning of parliament, it is to talk. And that is why, in that same standard orders, every parliament around the world, there is a procedure to even challenge the decision of speaker. Because they want to encourage MPs to disagree where they feel very strongly. So two things can happen. You can disagree with speaker, but allow whatever decision it takes to go. Where you feel very strongly, you can now come with a certain motion to challenge the decision of speaker. Where you have a speaker who cannot tolerate disagreement, I find it very difficult but this to, one to, does to continue. You know? No. He doesn't tolerate disagreement? No. Because if he does, go and look at the video of that day. Show me anything that I said that warranted an apology. Hmm. Just tell me. It's simply disagreeing with you that, Mr. Speaker, I read 106 well. The way you are, the path you are taking, I disagree with you. There's no way that path allows you to set that committee and refer the thing to committee. And you see, in parliamentary practice, speakers are supposed to be the like ombudsman. You listen and then you take decision. Where there are conflicting views, then you come in to set the, the direction. Where you don't want to listen to people, when they are talking, you want to like interrupt them. That's that's not that's that's not good enough. And you see, I'm sorry to say this. When you want to turn the chamber of parliament into a palace, then you become a tyrant. He see a tyrant. He's becoming, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm saying this because this is my favorite speaker. I mean, I mean you I elected. Can, I, I can tell you. You whip your members I, I to I can elect tell him. you that if there's a member of parliament today, in this house, who, if I were a Suku fan, who enjoy the reign of this speaker, I don't think anybody will have enjoyed his reign better than me. I mean, he owes his but, speakership to your but, to your whipping abilities. Just as I would decide, I would I disagree with Professor Kwe. I disagree a number of times with Dua Jawo. I won't say because Babin is my favorite speaker. Have you told him this, uh, that he's become have, a tyrant directly? Because have you said, have a I clear have line that, I have said that several times. And that, what, has he, what, what is his response? He, he disagrees with me. But I tell him that, tell me what Chief does, a chief will do in his palace. When he says anything, that's final. That's what chiefs do.